Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I'm going to tell you how to install HGLRC ARGB light onto your drone frame guys. In my previous videos guys, I have already shown how to connect it onto the drone frame guys using the driver module. But in that configuration guys, you were not able to individually control the color and the function of each and every light that you have on the strip yes you were able to control the colors and change the color remotely guys but you were not able to target any one led and change its color but in this video guys i'm going to tell you how to individually target each of these leds and how to control the color and function of that led guys so there is a specific way guys to connect these leds to achieve that kind of functionality guys so ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that i have to share before we move further guys if you're new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos let's get started so guys before we start installing this led strip onto the drone frame let me walk you through on how this LED strip looks like and how I'm going to connect it to the drone frame and the flight controller guys. As you know guys, I've already done the in-depth review and unboxing of this LED strip on my channel guys. If you have not seen that video guys, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. So guys, whenever you purchase this, it comes in this transparent packaging with some of the wires. This is your LED strip driver guys, which we used in my previous video to connect all the four ports onto the LED strip guys, but we are not going to do it in this video. We are going to still use this LED driver guys, but we are going to connect it in a different way. So I'll keep this aside for now. And these are your LED strips itself. Let's quickly open this. So as you can see guys, it comes with this transparent wrap so as to be able to protect this from damage during the crash so which is also something really nice which was included and this is your led strip itself as i told you before guys it has an input side of the port and there is an output side of the port that is the functionality guys i'm going to use to connect each of these leds in series and then connect it to the flight controller guys it comes with this JST connection as well guys so as to be able to connect it on to each other guys so that is how you connect each of these LED one to each other so let me walk you through on how I'm going to connect this guys as you know onto the back side guys it has a port of VBAT ground 5 volt and PWM so you can power this using the VBAT or using the 5 volt and ground or VBAT and ground and then PWM I'm not going to use it in this video guys so that is the trick so I'm still going to power it up using the 5 volt and ground port that you have and then guys here on to the front guys here you can see there are four ports I am going to use only one and then guys here you can see here it has ground 5 volt and PWM port here onto the side guys. So guys, I'm going to power this using this JST and then provide the PWM signal or the signal of the LED so as to be able to target each of these LED using one of the port here, which is the PWM port. So that is how I'm going to connect it. And then guys, the output of this will go to the input of one of the LED and then the output of the LED will go on to the input of another LED and so on and so forth until we connect all the four RGB LED strips. So that is how guys I'm going to connect it. And then guys on to the flight controller guys here you can see I have an LED port to which I have already connected three wires. So the red is 5 volt black is your ground and the yellow one is your LED signal guys so that is already connected onto the flight controller guys onto the back side I have already put these wires onto the back so 5 volt ground and the LED signal guys and then here guys I'm going to install the LED driver and then install each of these LED strip onto the arms so that is how I'm going to connect it so let's quickly do that now guys let's quickly tin the ports that i'm going to use here from this driver guys so i'm going to use 5 volt and ground and three of the ports that is there onto the front that you can see so those are the ports guys i'm going to tin it let's quickly do that so three ports here and 5 volt and ground onto the back let's do that quickly so this is your ground and 5 volt so those are tinned. Now let's quickly tin the 
three pads that you have on to the front guys now let's quickly connect the power cables coming out of the flight controller guys here you have the flight controller the red and black and yellow so red and black will go here the black goes to the ground straight to the 5 volt let's quickly connect that so black to the ground and red here on to the 5 volt so that is how we are going to connect it So your red and black is connected. Now let's turn this up and connect the rest of the wires guys. So here I have some spare wires so that I will be able to extend these wires using the jumper connection that we have cut right now. So let's connect first one is ground then power and then the PWM signal onto the PWM signal guys I'm going to connect two wires one is coming out from this and one that I'm going to extend on to the LED so let's quickly do that let's connect 5 volt and ground first so this is your 5 volt going on to the center pad like this and then the black one on to the ground So 5 volt and ground is connected and then the yellow one we have to connect two wires. So guys as you can see my all three wires are connected. I have connected the PWM signal onto the different pad. It doesn't matter as long as they both are together and it is onto the third pad. So it is onto the third pad and I have 5 volt and ground coming out of these pads. So my soldering is complete now let's put this into a protective cover so that it does not get damaged so as you can see guys they are in protective packaging let's quickly shrink it so that they stay together and do not move so guys as you can see it is properly shrinked onto its size and now they are all going to be together held at one place and not move so this is how you connect your driver guys so as you saw guys this is a different type of connection that we have done this time guys so as to be able to connect the ARGB lights into series so as to be able to individually control the color and function of each LED so now we have to extend these wires onto each jumper connection guys and then connect them in series so guys now that I have extended all the required wires guys now let me walk you through the connection quickly so this is the wire guys coming out of the driver that we have installed so this guys we have to connect it on to the inward side of the LED so this is input port and this is output so we have to connect it on to the input port so we connect it on to input and on to the output guys I am going to connect one of these guys so connect it like this and place it like this so input goes on from here and then it comes as an output so that is how we are going to do it and at the same time guys I will put the shrinkable cover onto the side so that we can shrink it later so ensure that both the ports are inside and your LED is visible it's like this so you have to put it the shrinkable cover onto the top so that is what I did so this since it is coming from the output port of this LED it is going to go on to the input port so let's connect another one ensure that guys you connect it in the right direction otherwise it is not going to work so this is input port so let's connect it on to the input and the same way guys we have to connect another one on to the output of this so I'm going to use this longer wire that I have created guys I have put a small extension in between these two so as to create a longer wire so let's connect this one on to the output the same way guys let's put this as well into the shrinkable cover so that we don't have to do it later and like always ensure that your LED is visible and 
I will put this wire for the cable management behind this so as to be able to manage the wire easily and take it out from this side okay so this guys is again going on to the input port of another LED so that is how it is going to be so this is the input port and it is going to be connected like this let's connect another one onto the output port so this is the output let's connect this one on to the output and put a shrinkable cover onto the top keeping the LED visible and this is going to go from the top like this and then we are going to put this on to the another LED input port so that is how we are going to connect it and then we have another wire guys that is going to have a free end guys this I will tell you in my future video guys how I'm going to use it but for now guys I want to keep an output port here guys connected on to the last LED and then put the wire like this and then put the last transparent cover on to the top so that will finish all the connection guys let me shrink all the cover guys and then we will stick it onto the back side of the arm guys using DST let me shrink each one of them So guys, now my all four LEDs are shrinked and ready to be installed onto the arms. Let's do that one by one. So we'll put the DST like this and remove the other side of the cover to be able to install the LED. So that's how we do it so the first one installed like this stick it on to the side and then these wires will go on from to the top of these two nuts and then this one is going to be installed here so that is how it's going to be so let's put the other one so guys as you can see on all the four arms of my drone now leds are installed correctly guys so whenever you power this up in the firmware guys you will be able to address this led in the sequence in which they were installed so this is the wire guys that was coming out from the flight controller guys so this will be pointing from one two three and four and then this is going to be five six seven and eight since the output goes on to this side guys it is going to be 9 10 11 and 12 and this input goes here guys 13 14 15 and 16 so that is how guys you count the leds and you can perfectly target each of these leds by the number and the sequence in which they are installed so this is it guys this concludes this video in my future videos guys i will also tell you how to address these leds and program these LEDs for different functions in the firmware guys so ensure that you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on those videos guys so this is it guys I hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below I will answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies